hello guys welcome to another review today we're looking at the thinkpad x1 nano uh, this is the new upcoming lenovo laptop that has a lot of features which we're going to look at today <laughs> So the first thing about this laptop uh, which you've seen in the title is that it's going to be another Lenovo device that's going to feature 5G. Uh, this, this is really important because most uh, laptops usually don't have that feature even including the MacBook Pro or the upcoming one. I'm sure it won't be having the 5G option. So how did Lenovo do this? Before I continue, thank you for liking the previous video. We got 16 likes. So for this video, let's get to 50 likes and it will be awesome. Uh, they implemented uh, the new Intel new hybrid technology. So then uh, this feature is like the one present in Qualcomm. So it's like a feature that allows you to put the same uh, wireless memory wireless features memory and intel uhd graphics onto the same chip uh, which is also done on most phones using snapdragon uh, 8cx so this feature is going to be nice for uh, the lenovo 5g uh, laptop and not only that uh, the feature is uh, the laptop is also going to be the lightest i uh, think pad ever built at less than one kg so just to give you an example most laptops are usually most modern laptops usually weigh around 2.3 kg to around 3 so this is going to be even more lighter than most lighter than almost half the weight of uh, these laptops uh, the most comparable device is there maybe a tablet or something so it's it's also going to have a carbon fiber design uh, that's going to be a nice feature and concerning the screen uh, the screen to body ratio is also the highest that's present in any Lenovo product it's going to have a 85% uh, screen to body ratio uh, which is higher than most uh, ThinkPad laptops but it's not as high as the Dell XPS 13 uh, which has a uh, 13.4 inch screen while this one has a 13 inch screen uh, but nevertheless concerning because the size the weight that you're going to get in this laptop it's going to be so much lighter i think uh, that's going to compensate for that it's going to be more portable and generally better because it has 5g another thing about this uh, laptop is that it's going to have a 2k resolution uh, screen uh, with a need of 415 nits which is pretty high uh, that will enable you to use the laptop even in broad daylight and uh, you'll be able also to get an optional touch feature if you want uh, this feature is usually available in uh, thinkpad laptops uh, you can basically tilt the laptop and use it as a tablet and this one is going to be at least more better because of the uh, weight that you're going to get so concerning the keyboard you can also choose uh, the rgb version i believe it's going to have the rgb version for all laptops so for that it's going to be all customized all keys will be customizable uh, you, you won't be getting let's say like only some a specific color or yeah it's going to be customized in the way that you want and the only compromise that i've seen they made is uh the allocation of ports so it's going to just have two thunderbolt three ports uh which is pretty pretty less but uh, you can use a dongle and con connect if you want to use an ethernet or the common usb or a usb type c uh, you can use uh, a dongle to do that so the other feature about this laptop is that it's going to feature the next generation 
uh, Intel, which is the Tiger Lake processor. Uh, basically, it's not going to have the 14 nanometer uh, CPU, which uh, frankly has been around for over five years uh, in Intel devices. This is a response to the MD4000 chipsets, which are pretty uh, have a pretty higher clocker clocking base and uh, they are generally have more calls so i think this one is going to make it to compete with that and apart from that it's also going to feature an audio jack which in some laptops like the macbook uh, pro uh, they don't ship with that usually so for the speaker system it's going to be a bit better with the delby atmos uh, speaker system uh the other thing uh when you consider buying uh mostly gaming laptops they usually have uh, a poor quality speaker but for this one it's going to have at least a uh, better speaker than you can find in other devices concerning the battery uh, they also tried to make a compromise in this case they won't be shipping with a higher battery it's going to have a 48 a watt battery i'm guessing they did this so that they can make uh, the thinkpad to be as light as they did uh, but still that's going to have 17 hours battery life since it's not a 4k panel uh, it's a 2k panel so it's going to at least last more longer so another feature that i've seen here that i didn't see in the previous uh, lenovo thinkpad x1 is the human presence detection so basically this is like uh, when you stay away from the laptop and you come back it's automatically automatically going to be powered on and that will be a nice feature so for the intel athena i haven't checked this Okay, so Project Athena at its purest form is basically a set of standards that Intel wants for laptop. Intel has said that its engineers will work with companies like HP and many more to create laptops that meet its standards. So basically for this, I'm thinking maybe it's that uh, usually for Intel devices, they are usually uh, run too hot. So some manufacturers may uh, use may try to limit uh let's say their budget by uh, not cooling it enough maybe placing only one fan or not designing it in a way that intel wants but for the thinkpad x1 cam uh laptops you know that these laptops are usually the most uh, compact laptops that you can find anywhere and uh, they are usually built to last and i believe this uh, laptop is already satisfied already certified and it's going to have a good cooling so for the memory it's going to have 16 gb of memory uh, which is pretty nice for a standard laptop a premium laptop not a standard one so i can't wait for it to launch so i can share more information uh, but basically this will be a, a nice laptop probably shipping around september because uh, that's when the next generation intel cpus will launch and i'm looking forward to that let me know what you think about this device and i'll i'll maybe probably i'll reply in the comments have a nice day